welcome to episode 14 of Olive's Organic Living. I'm Olive, and today we're still we're still talking about ghosts. It's organic. Organic. Not really feeling so good. Weird stuff keeps happening. I did get to meet my spiritual advisor and guru, Hemlock Moonwolf. He cleansed six out of seven chakras, which is like, I mean, it's pretty good for what he charged me. So like, I'm pretty satisfied. I'm gonna leave a good Yelp review. But yeah, we got a picture together. We got a selfie. He really helped me on my journey and stuff and like figuring out that like, it wasn't grandma haunting me. I mean, even though I like, I sort of figured that one out on my own. My yeah, stuff like that's been happening a lot. Guys, there's just been, there's just been too many creepy things happening lately. I don't know what's going on anymore. And yeah. Oh. Yeah, uh, no, I hear you. I know you're you're whispering my name in a really creepy voice. I get it. I'm not answering this time. Last time I answered, there was like dead rats and a pentagram on the floor in the living room, and I'm not dealing with that tonight. I'm not doing it, you guys. I'm not. Oh my, my chest kind of hurts, you guys. I feel it right in the heart chakra. I thought I cleansed that. Did it get really cold in here? I don't know. Is it just me? Do you guys feel it? Do you guys feel kind of cold watching this video? Cause I feel kind of cold recording it. <coughs> Oh, that did not feel good. <coughs> oh. oh, what's happening to me? I don't feel so good, you guys. I really don't feel good. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Ophelia. You might know me by a few other names, but that's the one that I'm preferring at this moment. And since you millennials seem so intent on referring to everyone the way that they exactly want to be referred to, whether or not you even know what that is, well, I figure you can handle this. You can just call me the queen of suffering. I was never trying to kill Olive. I just wanted her YouTube channel. You think that roommate is gonna let me possess her body? No, she's already been possessed by like every dude on the internet. I didn't have a shot, but Olive? Oh, I've been trapped in a cat for far too long. It has not been fun in the slightest. You can't trust the devil, especially when it comes to card games because he cheats. Granted, I cheated too. You can't snort a line with a cat nose. You can't pour a shot without opposable thumbs. I'm lucky I could fucking tap the keys on the keyboard of that idiot's roommate so I could at least watch some fucking porn. Do you know? How bad cat food tastes. I mean, if you think it smells bad, the taste is equivalent to eating out Gertrude Stein on a sweaty day in the middle of August, right after she's been to the fish market. I'm a little older than Olive, a little wiser, a lot smarter. I was around when Socrates was trying to figure out why nobody thought he was cool. I was around for the Spanish Inquisition. I like to watch people hurt. Not only that, I like to cause it. And I'd like to instill upon you some of the things that I learned over my many, many years of experience. Life is suffering, life is pain, life is anguish and sprinkled in moments of joy. The rest is shit. That just means when we suffer, we gotta get kinda creative because uh, that's most of life. You guys have been doing pretty well without me. I mean, Twitter, come on. That's suffering on demand. Every Twitter beat is an example. Another fight that nobody would actually pick in person, but because they can hide behind a screen, it's so much easier. Text has always been a great way to be passive aggressive. Come on, we've been doing it since the Egyptians. You didn't think they had insults and pictographs? Somewhere with, with religious dead people. I mean, it's not like I really keep track of these things, because I mean, you see them all in hell anyway. If I could find their graves, I would obviously dance on them, but I mean, that's also just because I like to get out and have fun. My kind of fun doesn't, doesn't just include a night out or a good couple of drinks and None of you know how to suffer. You don't understand. You only get one shot at this and you're gonna suffer. You're gonna hurt other people too. You want to really mess with someone? Promise you'll never hurt them. Cause that's a promise nobody can keep. I would know. I've broken it many times. Maybe I just like to watch. I mean, come on. You know you like it too. The way you shove reality TV down your face. Videos, people getting launched out of car windshields at high speeds. Such as their body does a little uh, starfish Pokemon move and just spins the f out of there. You know that there's always been a part of you that has a little bit of monster. It comes out when you tweet something mean, or you wait too long on purpose to answer a text, or you subtly turn away, push someone out of the conversation purely with your body language. Those are the moments I love the best, because it's those little ones trickle slowly down into the depths of your soul 
and collect, start sticking together like mud, and that mud turns to quicksand, and that quicksand sucks every good thing out of a person until there's nothing left. And then that's where you get the real monsters. I don't want to detox this place. I don't think that's even possible at this point, but just don't don't tell Olive. I'm, I'm gonna get her ad revenue whenever she starts making it. I mean, obviously now that I'm on the channel, you know, things are probably gonna start picking up because Lord, I'd been letting this go on far too long, but Olive's such an idiot. It was so hard to even get into her body in the first place. You know how hard it is to possess someone who doesn't believe in possession? Or worse, somebody who doesn't believe in possession, but is too dumb not to fuck with the occult. I did what I had to do. Yeah, Olive hasn't been eating as much. Yeah, she's broke. Yeah, she's unhappy and there's rats in the walls, but oh, her suffering is so... So pure. Honestly hopeful that it's going to get better when it's only gonna get worse. <laughs> I mean, it'll get better for me. That's also because I'm not in a f***ing cat anymore. Insert Shane Dawson joke. That shit's already out of style. God knows everybody likes a pop culture reference. You mind if I smoke in here? I mean, I'm going to anyway, but I figured I'd ask. It's okay, kids. It's not the back. Now, where were we? You know, I don't know how homeless people do it. I can't shit in a box. It's the weirdest fucking thing. All's roommate wouldn't get one of those fucking covers for it. I had to take a shit in front of everybody. It was like being in prison again. I mean, I wasn't in like mortal prison, purgatory. Everybody gets trapped in there every once in a while. You know, you just, you spend a couple nights or, you know, a couple decades in there. Somebody brings your bail, bring you back home, still wearing the same clothes you came in with. So now that I have successfully taken over Olive's body, you'll be getting regular videos from me as well. Join me for less lessons and suffering. Peer behind the curtain to what really makes us suffer. Because if life really is suffering, don't you want to do it the right way? I only ask for one thing. Let me watch. By the way, don't don't follow Olive on Twitter. Follow me, Ophelia. All the, the links are below. I don't know. I'm gonna be talking shit on Twitter. Come find me. And remember chums, every time you give Olive money on Patreon, a stripper gets her wings. And by wings, I mean that terrible back tattoo that sometimes strippers will get and then the next couple of weeks they try to get everyone to call them angel and then, you know, years pass, they get knocked up, pop out a couple of kids, put on a few pounds. Those wings that spread, but they don't fly. This is my Patreon supporter song. Thank you, idiots, for helping me go Ricardo, Kevin, Nicholas, Lathan, Thomas, St. Clair, and the Ocean Blue, Nikki, Hannah, Breadmaster, PBJ, and Jimmy Crunk, too. A little toast to life, liberty, and the pursuit of suffering. Now go crawl back to your holes for your Netflix binges, you sad degenerates.